Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays Pacific Drive. Now, I thought the first thing I would do is let's go through all of the logbook that we haven't read yet. Um, if you want to join me in reading through all of these, you will maybe learn a few things. A couple of them are kind of amusing. If you don't really care, I'm going to put the time when I finish down at the bottom and probably here on the video for you to see. Skip to that time if you want to just jump into whatever I'm doing next. But for those of you who are still here, we'll go through these. Anchors. These are the things we pull apart and get irradiated by. Anchors are a source of enormous but extremely unpredictable energy. You can feed them to the ARC device in the passenger seat to extract that energy. Once the device is powered to a certain level, it will be able to open a gateway to get you back to the auto shop. <clears throat> the amount of anchor energy needed to open a gateway will vary by junction, but as long as you make it through the gateway, you'll recapture the energy used to open it. Which is good. <laughs> Although it's still worth getting as much as you can until the world falls on your head. That energy is also used to create items and equipment at the fabrication station. Try to bring back as much as you can, as noted. What it doesn't tell you in all of these is these are called stability anchors. And the reason they're called stability anchors is that when you break them, it gets less stable. Things start happening. Anomalies start cropping up and trying to fall apart you. Instability goes up. There you go. Your route through the zone will be stable when you set out, but it won't stay that way for long. Monitor the instruments attached to the map display in the passenger seat. They will help you track instability levels. <coughs> Excuse me. If these levels are high, a storm is very likely. I think that's what the ball thing does. Some things you'll do in the zone will increase instability, but you can outrun it by moving along your route. Nevertheless, the zone's behaviour isn't always predictable. Especially when you open a gateway. And sometimes sometimes there's nothing to do but drive like hell. Safe returns, you made about safely. Woohoo! Before heading out again, consider repairing any damaged car parks. Unloading the supplies you've gathered and crafting new items for your next run. Any new roads you've charted, charted are automatically uploaded and the anchor energy you obtained is stored for later use. Brilliant. Right, let's have a look at our resources. Fuel barrel. We found one of these, but we ignored it. I don't know if you noticed. I, I No, I chopped it out. Uh, but yeah, there was one of these. I ignored it. Transmission Fragment, Arda Field Headquarters. Arda Field Headquarters. July 19th, 1964. Now I need gasoline. Gasoline. Fuel. Whatever you want to call it. Fuel doesn't short. Fuel is affected by electromagnetic pulses. Fuel doesn't need replacement parts. I don't care about all the apparently genius technology you reckon is going to solve the world's problems. None of it... Where did it go? <laughs> Scroll to confuse myself. None of it works in this cursed place. If you want us to ever get anything done, just send... More fuel for the generators, for the cars, for the machinery, and send it yesterday. Gas station. Don't worry about the meter. This is free fuel, and in the zone, you really should take all that you can. I did. Uh, did we read the rest of these? Uh, I know that I've possibly skipped some because I pressed tab and it was open, and then I didn't read it, and then it marked itself as red. So if you see one, let me know in the comments if you want me to read through it again, um, and I will do. Private field notes, Dr. Mensar, March 30th, 1970. We have now completed the process of standardising and replacing all the anchor mounts and infrastructure. These new mounts should be far more durable. Dead pass against weather and atmospheric conditions. I think we've read this and resisted any corrosion. This has been a lengthy and difficult process, marred by endless delays. It's my hope that, uh, yeah, at least 50 years. I remember that. We've read that. Okay. Uh, sorry to waste your time. <laughs> Feel free to have already skipped ahead to this bit. Transmission fragment, origin unknown, March 21st, 1961. These are called bollards. Yes, Anita, I do agree with you that, there is, that this is nothing short of remarkable. And yes, I also think what we're seeing here is something new and unique, something unmatched by anything the zone has previously offered up. But I must disagree with your conclusions strongly. I strongly disagree. These abrupt, dangerous, grotesque things are one of a host of bizarre new geological phenomena. They very likely occur in response to ground vibration or local disturbances. And I think that's the end of it. To suggest that they are a deliberate reaction, even a defence mechanism, takes our discussion in a very different and quite uncomfortable direction. Yes. The idea that these might be, like, antibodies. <laughs> like, ground antibodies. Gross. Uh, I think we should be reviewing your reports before you submit them. This conversation goes no further, and I'll be scrubbing the transmission logs as soon as possible. Understand? Hot dust. We found this. It was hot. By the way, I think... These are actual photographs. This is what it looked like when we found it, because there's our car. Private field notes, Dr. A. F. Kingi, date unknown. At present, the majority of radiation detected in the zone can be categorised as beta particles or gamma rays, behaving almost exactly as we would expect. Nevertheless, further study will still be required to explain the origin and highly variable intensity of this radiation, which is unlike anything previously documented. One particular kind of radiation frequently manifests as a highly localised phenomenon with no apparent source or focus. 
and often displays changes and modes of behaviour more consistent with cloud patterns. These radiation microclimates are increasingly common and vary in intensity from relatively weak to extremely concentrated. We've tried to discourage the use of the phrase, but local contractors have already taken to using the phrase hot dust to describe this unusual anomaly. While further study is obviously warranted, the extremely unpredictable activity and spontaneous appearance of this radiation has made examination extremely difficult. It is not currently a priority. I, I managed it. You just sort of stand there and take it, and then you get back in the car and eat some food. If you notice a skip in the background audio, you were right. It wasn't your computer. I went to get a drink because preparing ahead of time is for chunks. Uh, yeah, we've read about hot dust. We've read about the tourists. Uh, we were scared that one showed up. The broken bunny was really annoying and attached to our car. Uh, perpetual stability is the only uh, condition we know about so far, which is interesting. Found items. Broadcast track. Broadcast track. Uh, why am I reading them? Harvested from an old radio station, this broadcast transmitter, has been tuned specifically to work within the zone. We, we need to uh, upgrade our antenna. I think that's what, that, what, what, that's what that's going to be for. Look. Talking. Let's just have a silent, silent video. Electronics. Sorted electronic components, each is waiting patiently to be soldered to another and once again restored to live fabric. A collection of loose textile and cloth materials. This is all a little scrappy and yet all perfectly salvageable. A gas cylinder. This large robust container is designed to hold gases under pressure. It's stalwart heavy and could have many applications. Mreh. The meal ready to eat is a complete self-contained unit of food, allegedly equivalent to a reasonable dinner. It certainly contains nutrients and may even feature distinct, discernible flavour. Although not necessarily one that you want to be tasting. This anchor is in good condition and has been doing its job very well. Tampering with it for any reason might affect this region of the zone, but then again, it would be such a beneficial resource to have. So that, that's the first time we've heard about that. Uh, gateway, the way home. This is the way out, and you should be double timing it here rather than spending your last few seconds scanning things. <laughs> Did I scan it? I don't remember scanning it. I remember that one. Tools, carpet, doors. We can literally just tell me about doors. Steel door. This is the type of sturdy, dependable steel door that your grandfather would pat with a trusting smile. Go on, go ahead and do the same. Say something affirming about solid craftsmanship. Too. Uh, uh, no. I don't know about craftsmanship. Flap, you blew it. Truly the most anomalous of conditions that can befall a wheel. A gaping hole in the precious, precious rubber. Fortunately, remarkable advances in tyre patching technology mean this can be repaired in no time at all. Alternatively, a spare tyre does wonders for continued mobility. You did pack one, right? I don't know if I need a tool to remove the tyre, the wheel. I, I don't think so. Not on the on the road. Locked keypad. There has to be some way to open this. This is locked, though that does always doesn't that doesn't always mean you'll need a key. Many simple locks can be forced with small tools, though tougher ones will require heavier equipment. Keypads, of course, will require a code or a zap. Breaking those won't get you anywhere. This wheel is wobbling. Of all the components to have on your car, this is certainly one that you don't want to work itself free. It's time to break out a mechanics kit and make repairs. Interesting you can take the wheel off and put a wheel on without a mechanics kit. <laughs> you can tighten it when you're putting it on. Essential. Sometimes the dumpster knows best. The friendly dumpster wouldn't be your best pal in all the zone, best pal status TBC, if it wasn't hanging out, handing out things that it thinks you really, really need. Things you should definitely, certainly should keep in order to safely make it through the next leg of your journey. Uh, we learned about cracked and whatever that was. Locked. Why buy it when you can slap it together yourself with duct tape and saliva? Dr. Ophelia Turner, 1971. First aid station. Don't you forget to patch yourself up if you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. That's true, you'll be dead. Uh, fuel pump. If the zone has one thing going for it, it's that the gasoline here is free. Yeah. Like that one day in COVID. Gateway link. A truly unique marvel of modern technology. There is surely nothing like this anywhere in the world. Could anyone even come close to understanding and creating such a thing? What? That must be part of the thing. Op is pneuma tube. The pneuma tubes, also known as the tubes, span the zone. A low-tech, low-maintenance method of communication and delivery. They've endured in a place where so many advanced alternatives have not. I don't remember what that is. Is that something we found in the world? It may have been. Friendly Dumpster, if you're ever in dire need, pay this a visit. As much as a zone takes away, sometimes she also provides. Parking sensor. This advanced spatial recognition and pattern communicating light array. As... Asrupla. Okay. That's not a... That's not a thing. I always read the capital letters as a word because sometimes people hide jokes in there. And that, they didn't. They missed a trick. Maybe the most advanced in ever found in a garage, or it may just be a white sensor. Who's to know? Root planner. 
The only way you're ever going to find your way around is in, in this scrambled soup for places by carefully and methodically mapping out your progress. Keep track of different routes using this map, along with information on how safe or dangerous they may be. Locker. Car packed to capacity with clattering clutter. Offload and organise those objects. Sort and store your stuff. When we learn about the charging station. Psst. Inductive charging and resonant coupling clearly have ample application. I'm convinced they're the future of so many devices. I also believe they may be viable in transport, even heavy industry, say Oppie's notes. Uh... Don't know if that is something I should understand. <laughs> oh, we did find some paint. Remember we found some paint? Orange paint. Extensive research suggests that this perfect fusion of yellow and red may in fact be the fastest of colours. It's up to you to test the theory. And some radio stuff. Back at the helm. Did we listen to this? Shall we listen to this? <laughs> my, my. Where are our manners? Uh, well, we do stuff. Introduce ourselves. Not really. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Oh, and um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a R&D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. We live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall from where you're at. Oh, and, and that old bat over there? That's Dr. Ophelia Turner, former director of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology, the maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Yeah, shut up. Resident party pooper. Uh, pooper. Um, are we allowed to use, yeah. Paint shelf. Go in there, please. So you can, in theory, paint your car. Fuel cans full, cardboard boxes have what we want in them. We should take this with us. We're gonna need that. Uh, you can, by the way, hit yourself in the head with the... <laughs> with the boot. It's silly. Okay, we're going in here. Scanning antenna. You need that, you need this, you need that. Uh, we make it. Thank you. Warning, hand zone, pick it up. Extend your range in the zone. Install the antenna on the roof. We went up there before. And we marvelled at the price of Hello? petrol in this day and age. There's a whole bunch of trash up there. <laughs> Well, at least they've got that magic thing that just deletes trash. <laughs> we have that IRL. Don't forget we can kick things. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. <laughs> I kicked it into Give it a to initialize. I kicked it, it should be working. That's how things work, right? Okay, install hardware. Get the handbrake from the back room storage locker. Okay. Should visit the dumpster as well. Whoa, what's in here? How long has this been in here? Give me this stuff. And break. Store the handbrake in the engine bay. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Search the dumpster for something to help you unload the trunk. Oh. Aha. Inventory full. It is a thing. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. Well, we just put this here. I've right? hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're oh. done peeping through my garage. This is a handy little ma majigger. You just put stuff in it and then... Can I just... Oh, you can. It's got a heart. You know about heart. That means the dumpster thinks we want it. Which is true. Uh, right click. Right click. Ooh, hello. <laughs> okay. Just experimenting. Why not, huh? Should we be able to take this off? I just want the XP. <laughs> okay, 
I've got stuff to do. Let's, uh... It says left click to use the crowbar, but I don't need to. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I did anyway. But we should be able to take this apart. Every time. This much I know. Give me all the things, thank you. Is buzz, buzz, buzz. Did I? Ooh, steel sheet. Let's learn about it. Uh, a broad, flat section of this strong, light, and durable metal. Ideal for use in panels, doors, and other bodywork. So we should be able to start making our own... Um, steel parts soon. We've got crude panels that are not made of actual steel, I think. They're made of scrap metal, which is a different material. Why is the tyre full of springs? <laughs> Am I also taking apart the suspension? That doesn't live in there. That is busted. That is dead ass. Is that everything? Probably. Find your way to town, oh dear. Headlight's in good condition. Oh, we should be able to make a new headlight now we're here. Ooh. Ah. Or remove. So my tire. Spare tire. Mm, well. Oh, you're flat! Oh, that's, 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 that's rude. Right, how do we fix flat again? Uh, I think it is. None of those. Tell me. Remind me. Uh, ceiling kit. Well, we could probably make one. Ceiling kit. Yeah. Thank you. Just, I want to click that. Oh, it did work. It's a little bit slow. Oh dear. There we go. There's a, there's a small amount of lag to the interface every now and then, which is really confusing. <laughs> I have to say. Right, let's make another summer tea ray. Um, do we have a spare tea ray in here? No. So we might as well. Yeah. Put it in here. See if we can make a. We don't need two spare tires, right? Um, can we make a wheel? No. We haven't learned how to make a wheel yet. So we can make a new spare tire, but we can't make just a, a wheel. That's okay. Um, fine. What have you got for me? What's going on in here? Tools. Installation kit. Fair enough. Uh, extra moving capacity is exactly what you'll need after those longer, deeper drives. Now you can transfer all your resources and items with ease thanks to this portable garage buddy. Paint shop. An artist's workstation. These are your brushes and your palettes, so to speak. Let's get creative. Fabrication station. This is where the real engineering gets done. The fabrication station will allow you to unlock a host of new technologies that will help you upgrade both your rocket shop and your car. Scanning antenna. Cobbled together using equipment from Office Vault and scavenged spare parts. This will sweep the zone to detect pockets of stability. That's what we like to hear. We want pockets of stability. What are you telling me to do? Go to dumpster diving. Go dumpster diving. Sure. Boing. Okay. Oh, we like to see duct tape. It's an entire flipping news class. Let's clip. What's the word? Catch. I think we're going to get three goes, right? Okay, full. Oh, he's tired now. Poor little mic. Let's zap this for lulz. Uh, can we make a headlight? First things first. Yes. Should we do so? Yes. Are we going to have an imbalanced car as a result? Perhaps. Uh, wait, two. Yes. <laughs> that looks like you've been punched in the eye, my friend. We'll close this. And then... Uh, repair car. What's what's broken? All the things, probably. Fix that door. We don't want to waste too much of this putty. But we might as well repair bits and bobs, huh? Oh, you just... Okay. If you don't hold it long enough, you're like, I'm going to do this. I, I decided not to. This one is a wreck. Bumper? Seems okay. Headlight, fix. 
wonder if it'll tell me that I've repaired it sufficiently. What if uh, it's only like 80% or something? Whoa. I really need a way of replacing these on the road. Because if you find them out there, it's, it's disassembling it from the existing cars. I really need a way of doing that. We can just do this a second time. Whack that on there. Get fixed. See if I don't why I order one of these days. Is it helping? Is there a better way of preparing it? I don't think so. Well, uh, we should make some more of this repair putty though, because look, this is quite low. Can we? What's it made of? Scrap metal? What? It's just chemicals. <laughs> All sorts of chemicals. What are these stacks to? I've got three. I'm going to need a new pry bar, actually. It's about to break. Alright, I'll give you one more go, because you're pretty sad. Uh, that's probably... Well... Okay. Uh, put this away, please. Thank you. Might need a... These are too big. <laughs> I need another place for those. Uh, I've got a spare one of these, which is grand. Can you just live in the trunk? Oh, I'm using the wrong words already. Stupid Americans infecting my... Uh, my brain with your words. No, I'll just fit in there. That seems friendly. Um, scrapper, I've got two. I haven't got a battery jumper. Why, is it cold? It's probably okay. I could probably make a new crude panel instead of fixing them, but I don't know. Let's see if we can learn to make anything as well. Why don't you go there? Oh, I need a fresh impact hammer as well. That's nearly broken. We know, yeah, as I said, we need a new pry bar. And I did learn last time that you can just hold that button down, but did I? No. What have we got here? Crude panel, crude bumper, repair putty, and the vacuum cleaner. And back. Tell me about this. Using most of the same basic principles as a domestic vacuum cleaner, though without any regard for safety constraints, this device allows for the swift collection of just about any solid or semi-solid substance. It will try to suck up anything small it's pointed toward. Now, I only get one, and it's nearly broken forever, but... There's also a big auto vacuum thing that I know about. So if you break stuff in the shop... I that you can't just break everything. Um, the bits of it will... Just be sucked up by that thing if you just turn it on. So you don't have to go around picking everything up. What if I do this? Okay, no matter. Then. This is such a fat feeling. Ooh. What is this majigger? The generator? Turn it off. Big button. Maybe not a button. There's nothing here. Look, it's not even made of plastic. Can't even can I kick it? Yes, you can. Look, you can. There's a person sized box. Just delivering stuff. Okay, nothing in there. So much scrappable stuff, and yet. And get scrapped. So I should have picked that stuff up. I'm not even going to check. It'll be in here. It's not in here. What? Is it in my inventory? I don't know where it went. <laughs> okay, fine. That just got deleted forever. Can we buy anything? Matter deconstructor. Cobble together using equipment from Oppie's vault and scavenged spare parts. This will sweep the zone to detect pockets of stability. Oh. Click on the thing I care about, please. 
energy efficient, economical, and probably even ethical. The Matic Deconstructor will recycle car parts in seconds. Do be careful not to get your hand caught in the suspension matrix. Uh, we need to make some gears for that. Refined bulbs. Interesting. Can't. I made a headlight, but I can't make a bulb. Um, what can I make in here? The liberator. This sounds good. Right. Okay. There's two things here. There's the there's blueprints, and there's the actual things themselves. And I think it's determined by the outline here. So the matter deconstructor. If I were to craft this here, I would get one in a tube, like I got for the antenna. If I were to craft this for example, or these, it would only take up fabric because I'm going to create the blueprint for it, not the thing itself. Uh, we need one kaolin for this. I like the idea of taking this because if I find some good uh, wheels, less precise than the cutting tool, the Liberator will nevertheless cleanly and carefully remove individual sections of a vehicle by precisely placing small explosive charges. And what could go wrong, right? Well, So we learn it. Now we can make it what does it cost? So, okay, that's the same same words in there. Uh, Liberator. Thermosap crystal. Mm. We do not have that, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, shall we just go? We've got a spare pry bar. We've got a spare... We've got a whole bunch of food. You can stack. How high do you stack? Quite high. Um, and what do I want in my pocket right now? I can go in there. You can go in there. You can go in there. Doesn't stack more than three, so I might as well leave these behind. Well, yeah. Just go in here for now. Uh, let's, let's go somewhere. We've spent enough time in the garage. Right, uh, where can we go? Yeah. Verification a one and done thing? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got Guessing a that's what this circle is? Whoa, that's slow. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so your call. Okay, this is perpetually stable. There's a whole bunch of anomalies and things that we've never discovered before. So I'm guessing we're going here. I don't know if I have to stop here and get through it on the way through, so let's see. Um, am I ready? Should we fuel up? I think so, because my checklist is only on repair car, and I'm kind of not going to. Yeah, let's just get in. <laughs> Allons-y. In for a penny, in for a pound. Does it work? Yes. I don't know if it just stopped working. It's a bit of a wreck, right? View screen on left side of dashboard to assign car abilities. So I can put like... Oh. Handbrake. On space. Just stop. Just stop here. It's very much a handbrake and not a parking brake. <laughs> you still have to put the car in park if you stop with it. Right, where are we going? Beach Sierra. Okay, I don't think we can go here yet. Can we? No, look, because it, it lights up the road. So we have to go here, which is where we were. We've been here. We know the place. So we should be safe. We don't have to stop. We can drive straight through. It's been half an hour <laughs> already. You're just faffing about. Uh, okay, my computer died for some reason. It might have overheated if this happens again. There's going to be words. Hopefully I've managed to recover the first half of the video there. If you exit this game during a run, it just resets you back to the start of the last transition that you did. So we're just at the start of whatever it originally... I can't remember. The first leg anyway. Oh, I just turned the car off. It should be on. because Okay, we've just driven here. So, I don't know what I have and have not said. 
Well, hello. Why is my light turned off? Can we have them back on, please? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what I said when we like, when I first went through all this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to say it again or be more or less surprised. Uh, oh, you won't have heard this though. Let's play that. Let me see what this is. Oh, it's just like this. This again. Uh, you know, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, had a girl? Oh boy. Hey, driver, listen. Of all the legends, we're over down here now. Stories that have spawned in the zone. <laughs> Trust me, there are so many. Remnants, one of the best. I spawned up here the last time, but that's where we're going to. Strange objects began appearing throughout We're going to try and grab these two things and then move back. Cast off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly oh drawn Hello. to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in okay. the forest, right? I have to re-scan these. I've seen this before. So I'm not surprised anymore. I've seen it now. <clears throat> it crashed when I was looking at that. So let's get in. Oh, don't keep turning off, guys. That's what's happening. I think I'm looking at this, but I'm actually looking at that. Turn on. Rubbish car. Yeah, let's play it. I might skip the looting here and just try and get to the next section. Just, just to advance the game a little bit. Also, I've played this one, sorry. A sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun. Better to know what you're up against. Could the Revenant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last Revenant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. <clears throat> oh, I remember what I had been saying that you won't have heard, because I lost that much. Is the the fact that we spawned very close to a car, first remnant in twenty years apparently. And we came in with a car? Could be interesting. I thought you couldn't stop it. Let go. Ah, let go. Get off. Help. I'm not a fan of that. Let's listen to the next bit. Already feeling the remnants of Bex, driver. Have you been fixating on the car, maybe? If only we knew where we were. Ah! Then we have a place to start on how to help you. Okay, I know what that does now. Typical anomaly. Stop it! <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like visible manifestations. The remnants were the only ones that went this way into your brain. <laughs> okay. There's something much, much like more. That. Ah. That's very close. I am being irradiated. But I'll wait for this to come back so we can scan it. Might as well scan that as well. Huh? These travel slower than I thought they did, which is nice. So we saw one of these in the bit that you missed. Um. Seems a bit close, huh? <laughs> I don't like how close that is. Um. Right, we scanned everything I think that we scanned before in the broken bit. I've also moved some things around so that my computer has better airflow. I realised that I backed it up against a... Uh, I basically enclosed it, which is very silly. So hopefully it can cool itself off a bit better.
Oh, that's just light. Hmm. Okay, let's go and see if we can... Where are you going? Okay. <clears throat> um, we'll see if we can go and get that on foot. I think that stopped there, so I'm happy to go around it. I do hope I successfully recovered. I, I changed my OBS settings when I kept crashing in playing Bendy in the Ink Machine, which turned out to be my power supply, so that wasn't fun. Um, oh dear. So I, I changed the format that it records to in order to use something that is, at least in theory, recoverable even if it doesn't you know safely finish this is where i was when it crashed i think i don't know where the heck is the limb ball it should be up on this hill i thought it was on this hill is it not um <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I have to run back to the car and have a look. Scary. That's a bit worrying. I thought you'd be able to see it in this. Just a little Sonic the Hedgehog, dude. Tell me again. Didn't leave the light on this time. I think you could... Ah! Oh, that shows in the world. What? Okay, I, I'm just terrible at navigation, apparently. Could have sworn that it was telling me to go that way. Look at this. Oh, it's directly in front of me. Okay. F for everything. Drive on. I like that you can see the trail it always takes. Oh, there it is. What a moron. What an actual noob. Is that another one? Trying to chop me up? <laughs> what are the chances? Give me this. Oh, jeez. It spawned a left right right on top of me. Put it in. Get in the car. It's all good. That was rude. <laughs> that was very naughty. Oh dear. Luckily, the handbrake is manual. Uh. Up this. Why won't you take it when you're not dragging my car around? <laughs> okay. Now that we've <laughs> fixed that. I don't even know what the radio transmission I just missed was. That's very annoying. Get over here before that pops up again. Turn here. This place has become extremely dangerous compared to the last time we were here. Thank you very much. Just ignore it. It's just being a big baby. This is... 
tempting. No. Ignore it. Get to the next zone. <laughs> Turn this on. Yeah. I've got to say, the royalty free music is really good in this game. I think we could probably just about skirt this if we bounce off this wall here. Nope. <laughs> Oh, get off me. Oh, jeez. Yeah, bring me back up. <laughs> I have no way of stopping them. That's the trouble. Now, once they've got a hold of me, I can't sort of keep quiet and hope that they don't see me. Because they grab me anyway. Ah, I turned it off my ass. How many times am I going to do that? Turn the car on. There's a lot of challenge to this game that I did not expect. <laughs> I can't go anywhere. It's not even safe for me to stop, you know? Me stop dragging me around. <laughs> I just want to get out of here. Nope, I'm not listening. I'm not here. Go away. Push. Do I dare go and get that bit of limb? The question is, can I get back up the ramp, the the hill? If I run down there on foot. We'll, uh, we'll get out and we'll judge it once we're there. But I want to be in the position to just leave. Take the money and run, you know what I mean? Ow! Thought I could go over that, to be quite honest with you. Put it in dry park. Turn it off. Get out? Yes, it teleports you out if you can't open the door properly. How's the bits of our car doing? Okay. What is this? The patch on the ground. Uh, give me this, please. It took a lot less battering than I would have anticipated based on how much I got dragged around. Now that's flashbacks to real life accidents sort of being dragged around. And. The car <laughs> was not this well off in that situ situation. I'll tell you that for free. Patch all the things. No, oh, thank you. I do not appreciate the sound. Uh, go away. Shut this right. <clears throat> Let's have a look in here. Use this to give ourselves a waypoint. You can open a gate. That's interesting. Down there, huh? Not looting means I now have no flares left. So I'm hoping that what is that? I hope that nothing is um, going to come and get me. We should be able to get back up here, I think. How far away is this, though? 
Is this worth it? I'm, I'm just going to say no. You know, you got to... <clears throat> I know there's people probably shouting at the screen saying, go and get it, it's important. Yeah, but also, I've got... It's a mental health concern, okay? <laughs> I don't want to. It's so far away. I'm going to be carrying it back with my... With the radiation all going off, right? I don't think it's worth it. I think we've got to pick your battles in... Oh, turn this stupid car off again, by accident. Got to pick your battles in this one. Uh, and that is one I don't pick. I think that's a blimp telling you where the exit is, which is quite nice. Right, we've made it. High instability, check conditions. The computer does not sound as loud as it did when it died. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's okay. We'll see. This is where we loot. We're going to spend time in this one and try not to get, you know, dragged around by the stupid buggers with their flipping magnets on them. <clears throat> See, I happen to know that there's a piece of technology that we can install on our car that will help with that situation, but I don't have it. Something unusual stuck to your car. Try giving it a swift kick. So if you get a bunny on you, loot it in the face. It's dark, but not that dark. Sierra, never wanted to think about this place ever again. Head to our town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Is that what that is? What is that? <coughs> Hold on. B, show legend. Scroll. It was just scrolling as I got bored waiting. It is a objective area. Okay. This one. <laughs> My actual car in real life does not use Z, X, and C to activate these things. I could just click on it. <clears throat> so there's Colossal Cappy in the distance there. I've seen this before, so I'm not quite as impressed as you might be if you haven't seen it before. But this is going to be a quite impressive uh, light show when we get there. I'm going to keep turning this off because I want to save my battery and ah, oh, that weather <laughs> and my um, save my battery and my fuel and save my fuel as well. I was hoping there would be a blueprint now. That looked just like it should have been a blueprint. I don't have a, a light on my forehead, apparently. It's a Game Boy. Can't smash that. Probably be sacrilege to do so. wonder if we're being sued by Nintendo. For the likeness of a decrepit game system. It's copyrighted by them. Well, that was a waste of my stopping. <laughs> you know how much energy it takes to stop a car? Uh, to, to ignite the engine of a car? I did bring a battery jumper kit. So when it gets low, we can use that. Yeah, off he said to. If you wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car, this is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Why is it called Cappy, do you suppose? Keep your eyes peeled for anomalies trying to eat me. It's a car park here. Interesting. Driver, are you sure about this? Nope. Well, they'll be fine. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cappy is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of oh, resonance, the driver's to get going new... to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're going to take her side? This isn't about sides. It's a good plan. 
I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. Oh. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait Pops until up the hair. takes That's a new one. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. <laughs> can I kick it? Hang on. Nya, 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 nya. Get in. Right. Aha, finally. Uh, two, please. Go in there. Oh, that didn't help. Let's just pick you up, shall we? And then you can go over there. Okay, bye. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Steady on there, lad. Ooh. I've only got one left, but look how many there are. Cool as not to, right? Any anything? Nothing? Now come on. Alright, on we go. Ooh, what's this? Thermosat crystal! That's what we wanted before. That'll help us get bits off cars in the in the field. That's what we want to see. Right, turn this stupid thing on. Right, where was it? Have my windshield broken? Maybe. I think we just follow this road generally correctly. I don't think I want to mess around. And if we happen to loot anything helpful along the way, like flares, for example, that would be handy. Probably would have been sensible to stop um, in the last zone. Pick up some flares. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Use the handbrake there. Did you like it? It's not really cut out for it. This car, being honest. Should be some good stuff coming up ahead for me to mess with. It's Whoa, slippy. Give me to loot. End of the roadish. Ah, that's something. Don't mind, don't mind. Get out quick. Let's not worry about the engine too much. There's my flare that I asked for. Grab a few, like the steel's always going to be good, mate. Right? We can agree on that. Because once I can make steel panels, we're going to be uh, looking really good. Probably turn these wipers up now, they're making a horrible noise. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'll do. I don't want to use my entire battery budget. I'm just sitting here not doing anything. Sierra. Yeah, here we go. Honey, I'm home. What was that? Oh. Get the car close to the anomaly. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'm not gonna... Okay, fine. Just because it's you. Just because you asked so nicely. And just because I really, really want to. <laughs> And because Avak didn't. <laughs> this is the sluggish this car ever. Whee! Okay, I did it. Uh, I'm going to turn it off, actually. No, thank you. 
<laughs> I like how there is a back door that you can just open. Ooh. Just reach. I'm going to try, because I can't be bothered moving the car again. No. <laughs> Did I try? Yes. What are you doing? Told you to F off. I could probably scrapper it. <gasps> Would you do it for me? Yes! Well, you can stay. <laughs> Good work. There's radiation here. Is that a lot of them? It's a friendly dumpster as well. Oh, you're a bit quicker out here, aren't you? This might be the time to use the, uh, the machine. I haven't actually looked at the friendly dumps, so we don't even get home. Fully charge a car battery from under 50% using only natural whatever it said. Nice. Right, you get off. No scrapping. What did we get? An old school steering wheel. Nice. And we just got uh, an upgrade for our car. Insulated headlight. Can't, uh, can't replace it. Okay. You have to be in the shop to replace it. Gotcha. You go there. This tiny steering wheel. Yeah, you can stay there. That seems fine. Uh, I will refuel the car. Well, why not, I suppose. Is that fully charged, the battery? And it's certainly not fully charged. Maybe it's because the radio was on. It's used that much in time since. That's fine. I appreciate that hops up here. Um, <clears throat> just recharging my battery for me. Probably just eat something now. Huh? Just uh, fix this. Have I got anything? Egg dams. There might be something in here. I'm costing myself a lot to look around in here. Come on, egg dam, what have you got? I say I'm costing myself a lot. I'm really just eating food that I found on the road. So um, I guess I'm not in the grand scheme of things. Let's do them more. <clears throat> Let's get out of the egg downs. That was literally a tin of spam just now, but that's okay. Right, tell me about my area, please. Oh, there's a thing, actually. There's a shed. Just go look in the shed. Lots of food. Lots of uh, materials as well, which is great. I'm definitely not opening that. It's in fact it's almost not worth not eating the food. There we go, it broke. Held on to that for quite a while, huh? <clears throat> I don't think this is going to be a, a limb uh, run. I'm not going to get much limb from this run. What? Oh. 
I'm always putting that one square off. I think I'm going to not worry too much about whether there's more stuff in um, the dumpster. Oh, we could get a bunch of limb. Look at all this stuff to explore. I think I'm just going to explore that. I keep trying to look down, but there's a car in the way every time I do it. Uh, yeah, we don't want to be down here. Oh, we want. We need to leave the gas station area. Back on the road. That's what I've done wrong. I didn't go backwards first. Definitely can't go that way. I want to go to the right. Will do. Do you think that hair was really hurting? Or do you think I could just keep it <laughs> as a pet? Watch out, you. I've got scrapes on my window, have I? Maybe it is broke. Hmm. Goes through here quick. Don't, don't fancy being inside that. Bring cosmetic items back to the garage to equip equip them. Okay. There's a. I'm gonna guess there's no trains <laughs> running at this time. Seems like a bit late. Maybe the last service is already over. Also, to hell with trees. Screw trees. They can all heck right off. Put it in. You. That's what she said. Doing a quick check for. Oh! We've got some bunnies! not much in the way of weapon use in this game, but when there is, it's the bunnies. Get this in part. Thank you for all the stuff. Friendly bunnies. We can turn these off, I think. Ah, turn the car off. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We're going this way, thank you. We've got a bit of limb. We could probably get a bit more limb. And leave one anchor up, because I can't be bothered guessing it, basically. Also, we should check our car's integrity. We've bumped across a few bits of terrain and got attacked by a few bunnies. You're out for something interesting as well. Yes, just like that. Oh, it's crapping nothing. Oh yeah, it's cracked. Look, cracked. Ceiling kit. Could we bring that? Maybe. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Look, it wasn't on the checklist. I didn't bring it. It's cracked, not smashed. So we'll just live with it, I think. What, by the way, is this? That's the place a gateway could be. I see. Okay. Let's continue.
That looks cool. I'm not going there, but it looks cool. <clears throat> Ooh. This looks salvageable. A truck. Arda Investigator. That's a summer tire. <laughs> did you sure? One thing I did say in the bit that uh, we lost is that... Um, what I might do is at the start of each episode, I'll go through all of the logs that we picked up in the previous episode. So you can sort of skip it if you want to. Same way as we did today. That seems sensible, right? I'm just keep rustling in the bushes. And do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if there's still wildlife here that's allowed to make those sorts of noises, but at the same time, it's very scary. Also, if like there could be coyotes, right? <laughs> it's not it's not be all and end all. You don't have a panel there. Huh? Give me all the bits then. We should take it back as much as we can, huh? Anything in it? Whoa! Loads. Who's squeaking at me? Shush. Look how long our car is, by the way. That's very silly. I've got some gears at some point. A mechanics kit could be helpful. Is there anything wrong with anything? Still got a spare tire on, which is just silly. We can't make wheels, so we have to. Everything seems okay. The windshield's broken. We can't replace this headlight without being in the... Wait, what? Yes, we can. Then let's... Now we can. It wouldn't be full. Oh, that's fine. Oh, what? <laughs> Excuse me. Nice. Now, I don't remember seeing this uh, so far in the in the information dumps that we've been given, but maybe I just didn't notice and it went by. Um, but I do know that if you are if you put in uh, an item that has some value to it, like insulation, that insulation or that, that property will spread to nearby. Uh, parts of the car. So an insulated headlight will also partially insulate the things next to it, like the bumper, the uh, presumably the engine, but the bonnet at least, things like that. So if I missed that, and you already knew that, then whoops, I missed it. And if that hasn't told us yet, and we didn't know that, then whoops, minor spoilers, I suppose. But you know, just a mechanic is. Can you spoil a mechanic? I don't think so. Well, you can if you like. Pay him too much. Take him out to dinner. This has been a lot uh, calmer of a area than the previous one, hasn't it? Considering we haven't been here before and we have been there before. I'll do. To keep offloading all our stuff because we haven't got much of a backpack to speak of right now. Where's this swirly thing that gives us energy? Oh, look, there it is. I think I'll walk. Might as well eat some food. Does it pick sensibly? I don't know if it used the big one or the small one. Ooh. It's stuff. Just plastic. Well, you win some, you lose. Ooh, lose some. These things always have these next to them, by the way. Should I stop for lights all the time just because they've got 
pneumatic deposit box in them. Boxes. Sis. Off white paint. Brilliant. That's what the doctor ordered. Well, I happen to know actually. It hasn't told me yet. Oh, it has told me. But, um. If we do this. We get these bits, but. We get bulbs! Yes! That means we don't have to learn to make them. However, we're going to have to learn to make the vacuum at some point, so. Holy heck. Guess we need a new one of them. Okay. Weird. Right, give me this. Get out of here. <laughs> Run away. Run away. Coward. Run away. Run away. Yeek. It's hot, 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 it's hot. Phew. Also, look. There's stuff. Is this what I'm trying to get to? I press M as if there's a map. Get in the car. Oh, make a new thing. Quiet. Uh, Craft. Job done. Shut that. Get in. Shut that. What? Stop it. <laughs> Weirdo. Yeah, if we go this way, we'll continue into that place, I think. Ah! <laughs> I'm so bad at aiming. I need an aimbot just to make the car work. I don't think this car can go nearly fast enough to make a handbrake turn worth trying, but trying anyway, just in case. Well, this charges up. Or is it just bad news for everybody involved? Yes, it will. Only while we're in it, though. Yeah, there's one here as well. I think I have been missing out on these. I'm not going to get that. There's only so much loot I can carry, and I want to get the important stuff. Uh, tea, please. Look, I'm full. Um, and that's because I got these light bulbs, you see. Put these away, yes. No, they don't stack. Right, use this. Oh, right click. And this. It does stack. Okay. Oh, I think when you use canned food, you get a piece of scrap metal back. Can you just stop changing the hitboxes of things? <clears throat> okay, it closed itself. That's good to know. Right, so let's turn the car on. Maybe we try and get a bit of... Energy back from this. Just go through it quick. Get a bit back. I don't think the car likes it that much, you know? And I have intentionally ignored the last... I think I said so. The the last of the... Uh, the limb balls. Because it's far away. And we might as well leave some stability in the area. Otherwise we're going to... We're going to have a bad time. The fuel tanker. Well, that person did ask for fuel. So... Yeah, that was cool. Not many parts left on this, huh? It's all wheels, isn't it? I suppose that's also metal. But, like, can I have uh, some panels just to get the steel out? You can't scrap the whole thing, of course. That would be silly. You're still electrified. Why me? There is a quality of life just option 
in the game. Like, it's not even a mod, it's not even a cheat. Just that turns the car on faster? <laughs> and I quite like the idea. And just because if you... It's, it's a good... Um, you know, it's... What is that, by the way? It's good to have... It's like a little bit of world building. It's, it's immersive. You know, to have... It take a while to turn the car on. But also, a bit annoying. So, you can't be bothered waiting. That's there for you. Don't like these upper doors. Oops, just straight up open. But there's nothing behind it. Who builds a garage with inward opening doors? Huh? What's that about, huh? You know what? Let's eat that. I'm holding, but you're not eating. Thank you. The, the you've eaten food noise is a little bit scary, actually. It sounds like you've done it wrong. There's something naughty. All the things, please. Thank you. I have no idea how long this episode is getting because of how it broke in the middle. So I apologise if it's longer than you're prepared to watch for, but also I am grateful for you to still being here watching it anyway. Teal paint. Uh. Oh, jeez. What? <laughs> Get in the car. Where the heck's the car? There. Get in the car. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. It 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 has become badified. Okay. I don't like it. Is that how healthy the car is, maybe? Let's let's go over here. So those spread, huh? <laughs> those, those are normalize. Is it still happening? Not here. Why don't you do it on the... Opening the door, but the padlock is on the chain. That's what you want to be snapping. Is it just following me? No. Limb is poison. Your poison. No uh, contact matching, please. I know how good that was. I'm moving really fast because I don't want to be spawned on with those gross things again. How are we doing on space, by the way? Uh, I don't think I'm going. <laughs> so, yeah, there's one square that I don't think we can. I can't rearrange it. It's not like that triangle trick in maths where they have a slightly wonky triangle and it looks like everything fits together perfectly, but it doesn't. And then when you rearrange it. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's fix that, I suppose. This, I suppose. Maybe. Probably fix this as well. Are we going to run out of this? Just in time for me to have a need to gather a whole bunch more stuff. And therefore, get ourselves four spaces worth of ease. Yeah. State of it. Uh oh. No, it's not getting me now. It's okay. No, it's broken. Yeah, okay, it's broken. So. 
And put all that stuff in, and possibly this note. Not that as well. We didn't need the battery jumpers in the end, but that's okay. And we could always make more um, putty on the road if we need it. Ah! I think this is the way we have to go, actually. Because that place, with its big vapour lights... As I say, do not enter, probably. Yeah, restricted area. No riffraff. Let's plug on. We haven't got much inventory space. So... There's not much point looting anymore. And there's uh, some new places to loot, so... We do need to charge the battery, actually, so... We might as well. Uh, with this, please. How do we use it? There it is. Oh, we only got one go. Good and bad. We've got more cargo space now. <laughs> but also, uh, we had to get one go. Luckily, we're near the end of a level. I think when we get back to the garage, we'll call it there. And then we'll start the next level. Oh, I was going to go in there. With, um, you know, doing car stuff, reading logs and that sort of thing. So what sort of is this? Uh, this sort? Yeah. It better be worth it. <laughs> What do you mean inventory full? Give me that. Nothing in survival games is ever um, got good durability, if you notice. <laughs> you can break a pry bar just by opening a few doors, whereas in real life, if you have any pry bar at all, it will last you until you lose it. Hello. <laughs> Who put you there? Who, who, who invited you? Get in the hang of that. Get in the hang of it. Get in the hang of it. Let's just quickly look in here. Ooh. We haven't found any plasma yet until then. In this disco. Take all the things. Mm, slightly better. Hey, what? Thank you. Suppose if you leave it running, then you don't need electricity anymore. You don't need a battery anymore, right? What does it actually do if you have no battery? Do you need it? Ooh. Holy heck, were they all connected underground like mushrooms or something? Plastic. Plastic. Listen to that squelch, by the way. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Ah, more thermosat. That's what we like to see. Even more. Brilliant. We're nearly there with that. Let me in. Do -do. Door. Great. It's dark, isn't it? Oh, um, I, did, I don't know if I said in this version or the version I lost, but let me know if it's too dark on YouTube. It's kind of too dark for me right now. So... I would not be surprised if you are struggling to see. We can turn brighter nights on, if that helps. Um, see how we get on with that, if necessary. But it's atmospheric for me playing it, but if it's just invisible for you watching it, then there's no point. I don't need the atmosphere if it just means that the video at the end of it is unwatchable. 
But we'll learn on this one and we'll change it for the next one. I'll have a look myself as well to see what it looks like. Okay. I like how the rubber is a duck. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. I haven't got... what? Where did it go? It broke. Is that the last of it? Must have given it quite a hell of a wallet, huh? Okay. Hello? Anyone home? Uh, turn gears into uh, gas, maybe? Another chemical? Another chemical? Another battery charger? Means we don't need to make one, I suppose. But also it means I've just filled up the inventory space that I recovered. Might be able to make room for that. Get the car close to the anomaly. Okay. You know what? If that's what you want me to do, that's what I'll do. Close it. Thank you. You're right there, dude. It's uncool. cool in it. Look at this by the way. <clears throat> it's just a big thing. Far too far away to scan it, I guess. Hot dust. Open the barricade from the cold control tower. Up <coughs> here, I suppose. Oh, now I can use this. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm not down with that at all. How much does this hurt? Zero. Fair enough. Boots open. Who left the boot open? Wash. It's really weird driving in a left-hand drive car. Um, I feel like I should be allowed for a quality of life to change <laughs> the side of the car that I like, just flip the model. Let me have the other model. Ooh. That's what we want to see. Whoa. Hello? So a bit, uh, a bit radioactive here, to be honest. Now these computers would have been useful once upon a time, I suppose. Now they're just junk for me to pull apart. Ooh, lead. Someone's grumbling at me. Can you hear that? Tell him to shush. Whispering Bowlder. Hmm. Well, let me scan it. Interesting. 
ना बहुत करते हैं Keep saying success, but it's not working. So I'm just gonna leave before I die of radiation poisoning. <laughs> Dumb. Probably didn't need to eat that, but also got so much. Let's just uh, go, I suppose. <laughs> what could go wrong? Wait for it. Ah! Ophelia? Oh, Ophelia. There was a gate in the middle of it, by the way. She did do what she said she would do. Don't know why you couldn't just open the gate and then. You know, you just have to time it, right? Whoa! Ow. <laughs> uh, speedy thing go in, speedy thing come out. I'm here, I'm on. Shush. Can you hear me? Yeah, shut up. Fried my transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. Oh, I'm here. Well, cool. It all worked out, didn't it? You say so. Got you out, and it looks like the arc device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. <laughs> Cappy amplified the car signal and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. Uh. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Um, if anyone else is playing this game. Map so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can yes, get sure, okay, fine. If anybody else is playing this game, tell me, do a, do me a favor, and see what happens if you just open a gate with the limb that you collect in that part of the mission. You know, possibly it's as simple as you you get to come back. Right, you just do it again. But I'm interested to know because you can open a gate on your own. Also, notice that she was able to open the gate for me. She could have done that at any point. Anyway. Um, maybe she couldn't. Because just blindly following the the story is one thing, but it's fun to go off story, right? It's fun to try and sequence break the game. So, if anyone fancies doing so, see what happens if you just open the gate in Sierra Leone, what it was called. Sierra. And uh, just come home. <laughs> Don't go into Cappy at all. See if she says something. Maybe there's an achievement for it. That would be great. Okay, I'm going to clean up here a little bit. I'm going to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I certainly have. Uh, and I think every episode is going to be a story episode. There's a lot of story to this game. There's not a lot of just driving around, collecting stuff. I, like, I completely filled my inventory from a story mission. So... Oh, yikes. I don't need to pick all this up, but I am doing repair putty. Um, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you join me in the next episode when we will do <laughs> take another drive. That's that's my mission right now, explore the zone. So we'll do that in the next episode, and I'll see you then. Good day.